question 14 news goes in elimination. Now, it goes in elimination, nice and simple, but full chock a block of micro arithmetic. So much scope for making a wee slip with a simple little calculation or a sign because you've got to process dozens of them within a minute. So I'll put it in the forms down so you've got what? Four, zero, six, one, put it into the augmented matrix. Two, negative two, four, negative one, negative one, one, lambda two. So I may well make a mistake here. It's just so much to do. Right, <coughs> first step would be get these two down to zero. To get that to zero, I'd want two of row two and take away row one. So leaving row one alone would be this. So two of that, so that obviously makes a zero. So that means I've got negative two doubled, negative four because it's take away nothing. Double that, four, take away six, that'll be two. And then I've got a negative two, take away one, negative three. Now, I'll have to do four of row three and add row one to get that down to a zero. So I've got four for that part, and I've got four lambda plus six. Four lambda plus six. And here I've got eight plus one is nine. Right. Next bit, I'll leave them alone. If that could have simplified, I could have done. I could maybe have knocked out some negatives to reduce the number of negatives, but I'll just leave it. Zero, minus four, two, negative three. Now, to knock them out, well, they'll just go straight away. Row three plus row two. So that goes to zero, that goes to zero, and that makes four lambda plus eight, and that makes six. And that's as far as it goes, which means my solutions are going to be, what does it want? Solutions in terms of the parameter will be, I'll get my first one. I can put all this down. My first one is going to be, I'll start over here. That number of Z makes six. So four lambda plus eight, Lots of z makes 6. Now straight away I've got 6 over 4 lambda plus 8. I'll knock that down to 3 over 2 lambda plus 4. Now that is going to be a paste. Because I'm going to have to start feeding that back into the other ones. So that next line, I don't know if I'm going to do this, would be negative 4y plus 2 lots of that. So I'll just double, well 2 lots of that would half the bottom wouldn't it? So plus 3 over lambda plus 2 equals negative 3. Oh, take the 4 over that way. So 4y would be boom, boom, 3 plus 3 upon a lambda plus 2. And then dividing by that 4, all the signs okay, would be 3 over 4 times 3 over 4 times that. I can't just go back to that 4 lambda plus 8 again, doesn't it? for the next one, and I'm not adding that up. If there's a mark for that, you can have it. This is just going bananas here. Now what's this last one? 4x plus 6 of them, I'll just make that 18, over 2 lambda plus 4 equals 1. So the 4x will be 1 minus the 18. I know there's things that could cancel there, plus 4, but it's just so annoying. Minus, now 4 into that would be 9 upon 2, so the 2 can multiply the bottom to make 4 lambda plus 8. Very annoying. That back up the top. Can't guarantee that's right. Eh, what happens when lambda is negative 2? Well, that's easy because what you had at the bottom row of the matrix was it was 0, 0, and that was that 4 lambda plus 8 all over the place. You had that for your bottom line equals 6. Well, if lambda equals negative 2, that means that you'd have 4 times negative 2 plus 8, which would be 0. So your bottom line would read 0, 0, 0, comes to something else, some number 6, and you couldn't have that. So it's going to, it's going to have an inconsistency, there'd be no solution. There'd be no solution for lambda is negative 2 because the system, I'll just say, is inconsistent. Inconsistent. That's probably the key word that'll give you the mark. Inconsistent because you can't have zero times something equal to six. Zero times anything must be zero. It's inconsistent for that reason. Right now, what's part C? Part C says <coughs> when you put in negative one point nine, the answer should be this. Well, so if you've got the spare half hour, you would just put negative one point nine into these and see if you did get those numbers. I think I checked those before I rubbed that other stuff out. I think that was right. Find the solution when lambda equals negative 2.1. What that means is, 
I'm going to have to I'll get the calculator, I'm going to pause it obviously and start putting negative 2.1 in all these places or will I just sit in a bucket of vinegar and stick pins in my head I'm just back from putting that all into a calculator so what happens when a lambda equals that? Well, when lambda is equal that, I think, I get x is equal to 22.75, y is equal to negative 6.75, and z is equal to negative 15. But you would show you're working, I suppose, just by having the formulas with those number, the negative 2.1 going into it. <sighs> then, that was a couple of marks. And then comment on these solutions. Well, the whole point of this question was at negative 2, it was inconsistent. Now, what that actually corresponds to is this at negative 2, what you'd have would be with these rows, one row equaling this, another row equaling that. You'd have two, if it was, you consider it as three planes, you'd have two parallel planes because the bottom two lines represent parallel planes. The left hand part are multiples of each other. So those would be parallel planes, so they couldn't possibly intersect when lambda is negative 2. But if you change it just slightly from negative 2, then they would incline slightly towards each other. They'd be very sensitive to that slight inclination, and that's what's happening. You're going slightly one way, slightly the other. Just one tenth off of it one way, which means the points of intersection, since they're intersecting a distance, are going to zoom back and forth between the two. So what happens there is going to be commenting these solutions. Well, what could you say? You could say, well, the system is ill-defined. Is that maybe what they're looking for? Or you could say this. A small change in lambda produced a very large, because what were the initial values? X was negative 22. Now it's positive 22. Y was 8.5, now it's negative 6.75. Z was 15, now it's negative 15. It zoomed from one side to the other, which is what you would expect if these two planes were rocking like that. Parallel, no solution. Bring it in a bit, these solutions zoom back and forth. See, incline it the other way, they zoom back and forth the opposite way. So produce, I'll say, a very large change in the solutions which you could just see in terms of the algebra of it, you could just see the system, that's probably the marks for, the system is ill-conditioned. Is that the word I've of Conditioned. There, question 14.